Okay, is this still going? This is still going. We have almost enough for the anvil. <sighs> I'm not sure if we def uh, necessarily need the anvil immediately, but still. Okay. So I did say I was going to sort some of my inventory. I probably should have done this earlier, but whatever. Okay, so we actually have more iron just floating around. That's good. A lot of feathers, too. I might go bananas with some... Oh, let's see, I might go ba bananas with some archery. Or some arrow making fairly soon. What else do we have? A lot of bones. A lot of bullets. We're pretty much going to want to bring all these bullets with us. Not tonight. We've got one more day. I think. Anything else here good? Yeah. Okay, so let's get that anvil down. That's going to take a while. The bottled water out. Take most of the meat out. Let's see, how many bacon and eggs can I make? A whole bunch. What else can I make? Grilled meat? Grilled meat. I can make a lot of grilled meat. Heck yeah, grilled meat. Boiled eggs? Boiled eggs. I can make one boiled egg. Okay. Otherwise, drop off the meat. Let's probably just eat the boiled meat at this point. Uh, is that food poisoning? Oh, that's why I was starving. That was food poisoning. That's why my character suddenly went, like, super gross mode. Earlier. Let's see. Grab, uh... Grab these real quick. I'm gonna go plant some trees. Then I'm gonna grab some murky water. If I just do right click. There we go. Let's see, drink some tea. I think I should, I, I think I have to go make. Tea, because I don't think I have any. Right, gotta go up this way. Let's see, is Wander still using the spike meta? Works kind of despite the wood spike nerf. Actually, I, I don't even know what the meta is, to be honest. Let's see, bottled water. Picked a lot of it. Okay, there we go. Oh, I apparently had a lot of glass jars just sitting around. Whoops. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Probably might want to turn on some music at some point. Okay, so that's good. I have corn of the cob. I also have the grain alcohol. Still don't know where that's supposed to go. I guess I've been storing it here. Along with some other things I should probably sort through. Let's see. Toss the corn on the cob. Sort these. Anything else I want to immediately work around? So what do I need for that? I need... Oh, just a repair kit to fix that up. Hmm. How are you doing? A while yet. Guess what do I need for an iron pickaxe? Because at this point I could make an iron pickaxe. I need leather and forged iron. I have... I don't have enough forged iron. Okay. So we're going to need a lot. That's going to take a while. Spike field looks like D-Day on Mad Roids. Let's 
So effectively, just n non-stop. Let's see, just non-stop uh, spikes, and that's it. I mean, I I can do that, I guess. Okay, so we want to make wood frames. Let's make three hundred. It's a bit excessive, but still. I'm probably gonna just go down to... Uh... Two... Layer... Limitation? Mainly just because trying to stack past four is going to be an issue. And then, yeah, they're probably probably going to dig out some stuff. Oops. I guess that's fine. Get rid of the grass. Oh, shoot. Guess who can't do this, because I can't upgrade the things in the back. I'm just laying stuff down, regardless of whether or not it makes any feasible sense. Okay, so I can actually upgrade these. Otherwise, I've just got useless frames that last for a hit. And that's no good to anybody. Least of all me. And yeah, we're going to have an insane amount of platforms to walk around on, which should be good. I'll just stand around spiking things and barring that arrows. Speaking of, I should probably actually make a couple more arrows. I was wondering why you were doing that. I wasn't thinking. And yeah, if the house gets bunged up a little bit here, that's so be it. I mean, again, the only goal for me right now is just to live through the first seven days. Anything more than that? But... Okay, leveled up, what do we grab? Let's see. More levels in Pack Mule are kind of unfeasible because I gotta have strength level four. Four? Only four? Oh. Okay, I mean, it's kind of nice, but I should probably invest in... Because this requires Perception 7 and 10. Yeah, that's rough. We'll get one more Unlucky Looter. Let's see, what else do we get? Fortitude might not be a terrible idea. Agility, if I want to do archery. It might be a better... might be worthwhile to just put one into this for the time being. Now, wooden bow. What do we need for wooden bow parts? I'm assuming we have to find wooden bow parts somewhere. Yeah, so wooden bow is for other people, I guess. Oh. I guess that's... I can't have... Alright. It said faulty quality bows. I guess level one is just baseline. Alright. Yeah, maybe we need a recipe for parts. Maybe? But it's usually locked off. Like, it, it says, like, you need to learn this recipe before you can make it. I think? I think it's something I have to find. Because, yeah, I'll admit, I generally prefer to go archery in these games. Just because it's a little bit more... Uh, maybe not reliable, but I don't have to get up close.
Okay. Well, one way or another, I'm just going to at least finish this initial layer. It's only day six, and it's early on. The only thing that I need to do today is probably food. Oh, that's a, that's a screamer. Oh. Well, Screamer's dead. Usually they come with more zombies. There they are. I don't know if more actually spawn. Or if it's just kind of an automatic thing. I don't know how I... God damn it. Okay. There we go. I guess the other thing we might want to might wanted to have consider eh, still a couple of them. Might want to get an iron spear. Instead of spending all of my forged iron on a pickaxe. Then again, I'll probably get just enough iron. Ooh. There we go. Okay, I'll probably just just get enough iron that I can um I may I can make the spear and the pickaxe. So yeah, let's go pickaxe first. It'll pay dividends. Worst comes to worst, I just have a. Uh, uh, let's see. Are you done? Yeah, it's still working on the water. I'm just gonna turn it off for a bit. Grilled meat, not as good as bacon and eggs. Boom. Oh, damn it! Am I? Do I have food poisoning already? What do I need for goldenrod tea? Goldenrod flowers. Where the heck are my flowers? I'm aware I'm starving, but that's because I keep getting food poisoning. Uh... Okay, let's do that. Because, yeah, unfortunately, I don't really have much of a choice here. At least for a little bit. A oh, goldenrod, not marigold. Gold. I must have just misspoke. Yeah? I'm just going to eat all that. That should be good enough. Let's see. Otherwise, I'm, I think I'm just going to turn that off for the time being. Okay, do we have enough? We've got the anvil. We've got forged iron. Oh, and we have no more wood. Okay, I can make a little bit more. Let's get this anvil down. Question. Ah. Oh, no, the anvil just goes... Where the heck does the anvil go? Uh... Does the anvil go on the workbench? God. Oh, turn off the forge. And place it. 
Uh, you sure? Because they're all locked. Yeah, it goes into the crafting table. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Okay, so I need leather and duct tape. Okay, so let's make an iron pickaxe. It's gonna take a while, whatever. Uh, let's see, I'm doing fine everywhere else. Uh, let's move that over. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Okay, so I'm just going to let that go for a bit. We saw iron out here, so I guess I'm just going to head for that. In a couple of minutes. I'm going to make these defenses kind of thick. Oh, what am I doing? I can't... I can't overdo that there. I wish there was a way to build this faster... I want to say the ball peen hammer or claw hook hammer or whatever. I think that might actually go faster, but I need iron. I was kind of hoping for a trait that would make it go quick because I am lazy. Yeah, claw hammer and nail gun. Yeah, both of those are a little bit outside of my reach right now. I just don't have enough... Uh, I just don't have enough iron. So, like, no matter how much anybody de demands I make a nail gun, I'm pretty sure I can't, uh... I can't do anything of the sort for quite some time. Actually, really ever. Because, again, I'm just doing seven days. Anything more than that really depends on my schedule. And views on YouTube. Because you have people go bananas for seven days to die again. Awesome. If they don't, oh, cool. It's one of my, like, two Halloween series that I'm going to be putting up. I should probably start editing, editing the next one. I have no idea how I want to do it. Because, yeah, I've got all of Vampire the Masquerade filmed. Uh, but I've heard that it might have some copyright issues and some other things. I don't really know how it goes. Seven days has a hell of a lot of content that requires you to do multiple weeks. Yep, but I don't have the time for that. So I've got seven days! Anything more is bonus. And we'll probably get reset if I do multiplayer or something. I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, basically most of the music for Vampire the Ma Masquerade is copyrighted. Yeah, I kind of figured as much. I'm... Fine with it getting uh, ID matched, honestly. Because it's more of just a weird relic of the past that I'd rather have. Oh, I'm out of wood. Okay, well, I got the pickaxe in a little bit, so let's just go find that iron. And then let's go minor 49ering. Uh, let's see. I don't have any more skill points, do I? No. It might have been a better idea to put a bunch of points in mother load. Okay. Level 3 Iron Pickaxe. How much are you going to get me? Well, it goes faster. But I think we need Mother Load if I really want to make it work. Uh, let's see. Do I still have that Steel Fire Axe? Yeah, might as well go for it. Because, yeah, the Steel Fire Axe feels like it's getting me a lot more resources, comparatively. But that might just be my per perspective. I should probably turn my light off. And we have uh, no Zambonis just kind of hanging out. 
But I guess that's okay. Ooh. Bird's nest. Oh, I should probably uh, start those arrows, because that's going to take a while. Stone arrow. Okay, so we're out of stone, almost out of feathers. Well. I think I might want to invest in mother load before I do too much rock smashing. Wait, mining perks are detrimental. Slippery slope to EXP land. What? You want to explain that in less meme terms because... So I shouldn't be investing in... in Motherload? So I was just gonna... Uh, let's see, I should probably actually dig for basic stone. Instead. And wait for my stamina to come back, because of that. Okay, what else do we have? Nope. Oh, essential. Okay. I got worried, I'm like... Detrimental sounds problematic here. <laughs> Let's see. Where did the phrase Minor 49er come from? Uh, Gold Rush of... Was it 1849? Uh, I'm really close to that. I guess we're just going for it. Oh, that's a... I don't know if that's a town or a facility out there. I want to head for it. But yeah, that's when the uh, California Gold Rush was, unless I'm mistaken. And that's why the, uh, that's why you have minor, minor 49er. I don't know. It was, I don't remember a whole lot of my, like, California Gold Rush, like, history, I guess. I used to, uh... I used to go to school in Southern California, and it was, like, a huge part of the education system there. But also kind of largely irrelevant. Sad thing is they also skipped over some of the more, like, important things, as far as I'm concerned. Like... We spent a little bit of time talking about the... The railroad. And I kind of wish we'd spent more and actually, like, gotten into it. Maybe maybe if I'd been, like, stuck around for high school or even middle school, they would have talked about it. But I was uh, reading about the railroad up here, actually, in Oregon. And apparently just, like, how awful the conditions were for a lot of people. And that's the kind of thing that I guess it feels like everybody should kind of know. Of just, like, yeah, how bad badly everyone was treated when it came to... Uh, you know, the transcontinental railroad and whatnot. Because, I don't know. When I, when I was in elementary school, I was always just like, yeah, and then, then they, you know, uh, put in the golden spike, and that was the railroad, and hooray, and everyone was happy and celebrating. The answer is like, there's a lot of people that died in the process, and it's like, oh. Oh, that missed. Give me my arrows back, you jerk. I was thinking it might be easier to find iron around here, but I think that's actually wrong. Because all of the charred stuff looks kind of like iron around here. That That's iron. So you didn't want to get a crossbow? I did, but... Not a whole... Uh, I don't have a whole lot of bolts. I guess I could potentially... Uh, fix it up and actually make more bolts for it, but bow and arrow is at least a little easier. 
right now. Okay, supply crate. What do you have for me? Some junk, some useful. Let's see. So we got another junk turret. We don't have a whole lot of junk turret armor. Or not junk turret armor, junk turret ammo. Which is something I might want to consider. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty substantial something or other out there. Where the heck am I? Unless I'm mistaken, this is the... No, this is this is somewhere else. I haven't been here before. I should probably check the second floor for safes. Well, do we get in? Okay, you. Okay, they might have better pathing than I gave them credit for. At least one of the two. What the? Okay, there we go. Kind of works. I'm just gonna go in with this spear. Because I think we've just got this guy. I know I should be aiming for the head, but it's not working the greatest here. Did that zombie hit the other zombie? I didn't know they could friendly fire like that. Maybe they can. I don't know. Hard to say. I'm not getting a whole lot of loot off of these things. So I was kind of hoping I would. All right, well, we can scrap the overalls. We can scrap the leather hood. I don't think I need either of those. Hi! Oh my... Wow! Uh, put that on. Scrap that. Impact Bracing Mod. Uh, let's see. So, slightly better stamina mobility. I'm probably going to want to go full leather. Uh, I'll think about these things. We also have a Bunker Buster mod. We have a lot of stuff now. And I am woefully over-encumbered. Well, uh, let's see. Meat stew recipe. Heck yeah. Scrap those gloves. I guess scrap the cooking pots. Let's see. I guess we might as well chow down. I'm pretty... I'm pretty full. Okay, Old Sink has stuff. This is not what I was expecting necessarily when I came in here. Hey, John Bain and Associated Raiders, how are you guys doing? I am... overburdened. Let's see, I'm just gonna make a secure storage chest. I think. But yeah, how you guys... Uh, how you guys been? How you been, John? Okay. I wanna... Probably switch that out. I'm just gonna put this here. Ah, uh, let's see. What do I wanna even dump in here? Kind of very... I, I don't wanna dump anything. Necessarily. You have to you have to realize I am a complete pack rat. 
when it comes to these games. And if I can make it out of here with everything, awesome. I think I just did, actually. There might be some more stuff to grab. Yeah, there's there's at least one thing there. Collectionist, not pack rat. Not hoarder, collectionist. This is... This is truth. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I've still got a decent amount of time. A switch, purple dye, and iron shovel. Better than... yeah. I guess I'm gonna drop my bone knife. Because I certainly don't need that. Anything else? I guess I'll eat the peas. Let's grab the can. Alright, anything else? Not so much so. Also, thank you Manitoban Misanthrope for the 50, 50 itty bitties. Thank you so much. Now let's run home before everything gets dire. I haven't leveled up, have I? No. I just squandered all of my stuff, but that's okay. I've got a whole bunch of... bits. To... just slog back with me. I guess I... Uh, I could get rid of the bow. I don't know. You're doing well yourself? I'm doing... I'm doing good. Too many games. Which is why I'm playing this game. <laughs> it's... it's... it's bad. You know, my... my channel's... Mildly thrive based on like, yeah, let's let's play new and interesting games. I'm just like recently like, I don't wanna, I wanna play a weird sandbox game. I guess part of the problem I I run into is just the genres are weirdly unfriendly. Like you can have you can go like years before you get like a a good, uh, roguelike maybe or something. Eh, roguelikes are pretty common, but like a really good sandbox game, for example, um. And then, like, one year you get, like, f ten of them, and I'm not sure why the market trends work that way. And so, like, I've been really itching for really good sandbox games, and I can't... I can't honestly name a single sandbox game that came out this year. That I'm, like, excited for. Uh, or was excited for. Like, Terraria, yeah, there is that, but that, that isn't for a while. Yeah, Starbase is coming, but that's... I don't think Starbase is coming until sometime next year. Can of chili. Grab the empty can. Grab the casino tokens. Pretty sure I can't bring that with me. That said this year? Really? You art of mining. Satisfactory was this year. You're right about that one. Let's see. Am I going to play Try and Fort? Yep. In a little while. Let's see. Mostly just wanted to play this until day seven. And then I was going to do Try. Yeah. 80s had an update. There's too many things. Guess I'm gonna search the bird's nest real quick. Then deal with this fellow. At least it doesn't burn my spear. That would be unfortunate. Oh, duct tape's kind of rare. I... Eat the... Eat the dog food. Take the duct tape. Ooh! Wood splitter schematic. Now, loot only respawns in these. If I... Let's see. Loot only res respawns in these bags if I've emptied them out. So I should probably actually start dropping the stuff out of them or something. Let's see, Cube World was sandbox. Yeah. But like, was Cube World any good? Yeah, if empty. So I'm gonna have to come back and, and empty them out. Yeah, you didn't like Cube World personally. I just didn't even bother. I it looked too divisive for me. Uh for for me to want to like really invest the time in. I know Stump's been enjoying it, but that's because they're like a group of four people, and so it's kind of uh, 
it's easier to probably enjoy those kinds of games when you actually have a group of people. Plus, I think they're all, like, baseline Minecraft people to begin with. I never... I would say I never grew up with Minecraft, but uh, Minecraft, uh, specifically for me, is it... I'm not going to say a touchy subject, necessarily, but Minecraft came out when I was in college, and I was in a... I went to a tech college, specifically... For art, surprisingly, but still. Um, and so... I... Had a lot of friends that played a decent amount of video games. But, for the most part, nobody really was, like, avid gamers. Until Minecraft came out. And I lost friends to Minecraft. In the way that, like, I didn't even lose friends to World of Warcraft. I, I guess I, I was the friend that got lost to World of Warcraft, but I don't think it was so bad. Just because my friends were all, like, too obsessed with making out with guys for me to, like, be friends with them anymore anyway. So I guess that was kind of fun. Or fun? That was kind of fine? I don't know, it worked out. But Minecraft rolled around, and I just had so many friends that just fell off the map dropped out of school and just played nothing but Minecraft. And it was just like, you... Really? And so I, I've never quite gotten into it as a result because, like, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm just burning wood, aren't I? I should probably stop that. Let's see. But like, even, even if it's, like, a totally quote-unquote innocent game. I mean, it is. Uh, Stun Baton. I'm probably just going to scrap it just because it's a low-quality one. I don't have much of a use for that. Let's see. Stun Baton parts. Oh, that's nice. Let's see, how old am I? I turned 29, uh, one month ago. Wow, yeah, almost exactly a month ago. So I, I guess I'm not that young anymore. I'm not that old either, but still. Uh, let's see, what was I going to drop off the... that. And then everything else goes in, like, the medicine cabinet and some other stuff. At least I got meds for days. So you wander, you're a youngster. Am I? I don't know. I've never really, like, thought about my age too hard. I, I guess until recently. I think this is kind of a common situation for most people, that you really don't start thinking about your age until you're about to hit 30, and you're like, okay, this is kind of one of those, like, turning point situations where, uh, whoops, coffee beans go elsewhere, where, like, you should start thinking about life plans and whether or not you're going to have kids. I put the coffee beans in here. I was supposed to put the money in here. Blech. I'm not particularly ob obsessed with my uh, my age yet. I'm sure when I'm like 60 or 70, I'll be like, oh shit, I'm old. And I'll be kind of upset because there'll be like cool games coming out and I'm going to be like, I can't play Sekiro 5. My hands are too shitty. But maybe we'll be able to jack in and my old brain will, will handle the gameplay and I'll, it won't be so bad. Yeah, that's going to be the thing that forces me into retirement, is just straight up not being able to play games. But, honestly, that'd probably be okay. Just hire, uh, hire some teenager. Okay, kid, you're going to sit in front of this TV and you're going to play a game. You're not going to say a goddamn word. I'm going to say the words. I am the wander button. <laughs> I should do that at some point. Just hire an intern. Have him say nothing. Let's see, wonder you're younger than I thought you were. Huh. Uh. Yeah, just get bionic gaming hands. I, I've thought about that a couple of times. It's like, if I could replace my limbs with cyborg limbs with, like, limited consequences and, uh, or limited to no consequences and, like, you know, obviously not having to worry about, like, them being too expensive, expensive or anything like that, I, you know, I'd probably go for it. You know, I'd probably wait until I'm past my prime before I start replacing stuff, but, you know. If I was, like, 60, 
I don't know. I I know everybody gets like kind of weirded out by Ghost in the Shell, and I realize, yeah, it's kind of creepy and dystopic, but like, uh, I'd take the risk of having a full cyber body if it meant like staying relatively in my prime for quite quite a while. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Lightstar, for the hundred bits. Any indivisible tonight? Ooh. Uh, no. Uh, let's see. You should probably. Well, I don't know. I guess if you're uh. If you get the notification emails, my schedule is usually there. But no, the plan for tonight is going to be uh, Seven Days to Die, uh, Trine 4, John Wick Hex, Borderlands. I don't know, it might be a bit of a late one. Just because I started so late. Uh, let's see. But I, I would like to do more Indivisible, but I have other games that are currently knocking on my door. We will probably do Indivisible tomorrow night, I think. Question mark. Let's see, you go with a non-human looking body. I don't know... ...if I'd personally go that far. Like, body horror would be kind of weird to work around, but like... ...it'd be interesting to have, like, four arms example. Hey, thank you, Crystalon, for the 22-month resub. Thank you so much. So close to the wall. I really gotta sit down and work on some emotes and stuff. Well, I'm gonna be stuck in, stuck in a plane for like six, seven hours uh, come end of the month, so I might actually spend some time with that. It forums means you can play two games at once. Eh. be amusing to be like... What would it be? I mean, like, being able to climb stuff and not be bound to, like, just pure lateral movement would be kind of cool. I get a bit jealous of squirrels. I realize that sounds weird as shit, but, like... It'd be, it'd be kind of amusing to be able to, like, just, like, yeah, zip up a tree and just see the view from there. Unfortunately, it it's weird. I, I I've thought about this uh, a lot recently. Question mark. But I feel like I was born in a relatively good time, where it's kind of the turning point of humanity. If we can like get our thumbs out of our butts and like kind of tackle stuff like uh, global warming and climate change and you know this kind of weird trend towards fascist governments lately. Uh, if we can get past that. I mean, not weird trend, that's just hard-coded into huma humanity. But if we can get past that, we can start heading towards, like, more of a Star Trekian future or something like that. Um, but I think I will uh, die of old age before we get to the, like, the really cool stuff. Which is a bit of a shame, because it's like, it'd be nice to stick around for that. Uh, that kind of stuff. Really depends on how fast tech goes, but it's nice to dream about, question mark. Yeah, why do you need arms when you can just keyboard and mouse? Oh, that's part of the reason why I said, uh, forearms. I, I didn't talk about using forearms to play video games. I just said, like, it'd be cool to have forearms. Um. It would be nice to actually just be able to look at a game and control it, or just, like, kind of be in it. I'm not sure if I'd ever be comfortable with, like, the full body, uh, immersion stuff. I think that would be weird from a VR standpoint. Oh, it's taking longer than I thought. Let's see, so I just leveled up. What do I get? Another point in strength so I could get gold mine? Oh, I'd have to put two points in strength. That'd be hard. Might not be a bad idea to just put points into... Like, head for quick healer, maybe? That's fortitude level 3, though. Let's see. Let's grab Tin Man. Let's see, living off of the land, more crops. 
Oh. Tough might not be a bad idea. That's just HP reduction, period. Uh, I guess let's put at least one point into fortitude for the time being. And this is where multiplayer might have been handy. Whoops. Just because I could have I could delegate some tasks to people like somebody dig a moat. So I don't have to. Playing solo means I have to do it all on my own. It's probably okay, but still. Slaves build me a moat. Exactly. Somebody gets it. Okay. You need to invest into things like strength and such eventually. You'll never get to the later stuff. I mean, my strength is currently at a decent amount. I'm just trying to spread it around so I don't get, like... So I'm not, like, too much of a glass cannon or something. Let's see, thought control peripherals are already on the market. Really? I can't imagine that they're particularly good ones. Let's see. Wizard had 10 subs building them a castle while they sat back on their screen drinking a smoothie. I mean, I did that with Mastorio, but that's because my hand was busted. I mean, that would be a fun series to do at some point. Uh, I don't tell anybody I'm doing it, but a, I quite literally sit around and do nothing for the entire series and more or less just tell people what to do for the entirety of it. Just be like, okay, gonna need a moat here, gonna need some guns. Uh, oh, hey, here's here's a house we should loot. But I don't actually do any of the work and see how long it takes before people catch on that I'm doing jack shit. Not the tyrant bot, just see... I mean, I, I'm sure people have kind of infinite goodwill when I'm screwing around. Uh, ish. But, you know, if I don't tell people that I'm going to be doing nothing, would they would they still do all the work for me? Like, uh, I guess not exactly in the same vein, but when we were doing Mastorio, uh, I had one guy, specifically Acme Boy, uh, who is the only person that I think built a single bit of defense that entire playthrough. And he was the only person building defenses. And it worked great. His defenses were were pretty iron bound for how big and horrifying our, our base was, but it was pretty amusing to watch this this one guy stemming the tide of horrible aliens, uh, while the rest of us were just like faffing about with uh, with making like a main bus setup that kind of vaguely works. We might want to bop in and go make that hammer. Probably make it faster. Probably also get rid of that. Okay, so what do we even need for a hammer? Claw hammer requires 36 forge iron. I don't have a whole lot of iron sitting around. Do we... We have 15. It's 617 here. That should be enough. Because yeah, having the claw hammer should make this a lot faster. I'm just going to let that go for a bit. But yeah, I'd like to ex at least extend the uh, the wood blocks out so we don't lose the deck. Even if I have to replace blocks for the deck. I just don't want it to like crumble on me and I fall down into the pit. Um, and then I'm probably going to just make a, as many spike trap spots as I can. I don't know if I'm going to go for the... No. Hold on. Yeah, actually, upgrade these first. I don't know if I'm going to go all out of my way for, like, a, a cargo drop if we get one tomorrow. Because that happens, time's going to be an issue. 
Yeah, time is an issue. I started a little late today. I think I underestimated ha uh, how far, far I was into... Was it day four? Maybe I'll just get Borderlands done in the mid-afternoon or something, or the morning. And just play Trine tonight. Unless we don't like Trine. I heard it's good, but I've also heard it's more of the same. Otherwise, I could just stop here and we go for like eight days or something. Or finish it up tomorrow. I, ugh. Cause yeah, I'm almost out of time. I am out of time. I actually am like 30, 30 minutes past my original estimate of like... And I, I should have known time-wise, but still, ugh. Scheduling st streams for me is rough. Because I can't just focus on one game for like a whole night. Wish I could. But then I don't get to cover all the cool games. I'm just going to plop all these down for a bit. Okay. Plonk all these down. Really quick. Doesn't look like I can get any more. Okay, let's go get that ball peen hammer. I overloaded? No, I'm not overloaded. I'm probably just wearing really, really heavy armor. And will there be any other games tonight? On that topic. Yep. Okay, how much more forged iron can I make? 25. That'll be good. Still gonna take a little while to get it all, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, what do I do next? I guess I'm just gonna get rid of this. I should probably see how much wood I still have. 230, that's not enough. Not nearly enough. We'll do some late night lumberjacking. This thing's about to go down, but that's okay. Because I will find another one at some point, and that'll be. That will be fine. But yeah, I think we might just finish up tonight, and then we'll do day seven to start tomorrow or something. Because. I gotta get cracking on other games. This will be a common trend over the next like couple weeks of me just being like, "Oh God, too many games. How do I how do I fit them all in?" Panic. I mean, I guess that's really just kind of a con constant trend for me in general. It doesn't it doesn't matter who or how or what. Uh, what games are out. There's always going to be this just, like, infinite backlog of things that I want to play. Let's see, did I lo learn a recipe for a wood chipper? Uh, I learned, uh, how to make a certain, like, mod, I think. Not exactly a wood chipper, though. Uh, let's see. And can't you repair this axe? I can. Uh... I gotta figure out if it's worth repairing this axe versus making a newer, higher quality one. I guess it really depends on what it takes to get steel. How much wood am I at? Almost a thousand again. I'm really surprised I haven't gotten, like, ganked doing this. I guess I've kind of cleared most of the zombies out of the immediate area, and I'm not really sure how they respawn. Oh, found the uh, schematic for the wood splitter. Yeah, that's a mod. I haven't figured it... I, I think I need a wor workshop to actually make that stuff. Unless I'm mistaken. Okay. So I might as well grab the goldenrod while we're here. Maybe look into getting a, uh, some kind of farming setup so I can act actually farm those. But that'll be, well, as 100% a, a later date kind of situation. As in, probably on the next playthrough.
Okay. Are we good? I'm just gonna turn that off. We can get the rest of that later. Okay, so what do I need for a claw hammer? Six leather and six duct tape. Okay, there's the glue. There's the cloth, cloth scraps. There's the leather. Duct tape. And then it might not be a bad idea to kind of line my walls with candles or torches. I gotta figure out which is... Uh, gotta figure out which is more efficient. Oh god. I could do without these build times sometimes. I, I realize why they they do what they did and why they have it this way, but eh. Let's see. I've got 96 more of these, so yeah, let's do spikes. So iron spikes, traps, yee. Yeah, we're probably just going to want to make, make a bunch of these. We're going to want a lot more than that. I mean, 48 is a decent amount, but still. Yeah, all right. Let's leave this for next time. We have a lot of things to do, but I just don't feel like waiting right now. And you can mod it. Uh, what, the game so it goes faster? Yeah. I think I remember seeing that as an option. I think I actually remember doing that previously.